Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. I haven't seen, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement. Just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, good to be losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Straight right hand, no good. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Three, two, three. Yeah. 
rejects the leg kick. Big kick land. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Just unable to quite find that range. That was lightning fast, that right hand. That'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Keep going again. Do it again. Under three minutes. Remain in round one. Hands higher. Hands higher. Throwing that jab, no good. Just over two minutes now to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. How good is that right hand? It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, huge block! <laughs> he has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big body kick land. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, nice. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. That was a thudding leg kick. Good punch, Lance. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Keep moving. 
Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Big punch lands through the middle. Just out of range with that right hook. And both guys really throwing with authority. Powerful leg kick lands. It's broken, I think. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Big kick lands. Lost that kick to the body. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage and might as well use it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Big head kick! Keep your face covered! Elbows up! Block, keep busy, keep busy. Way to hide that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. And he landed the right hand there. Able to check the high kick. Caught the kick. Knees to the body. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. There's the kick, it's blocked. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Ten seconds remain in round two. Whoa! How about those five minutes? All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stung his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round.
kicks or what? You ready? You ready? Close Third round up. underway. Lands. Now he gets back in range. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, blocks the shot. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Land. And that one was heavy. Oh, big left. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Spots. Look at a board and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. And he lands the knee to the body now. was checked. Oh, big punch land. <laughs> Connects with the right. Nice counter there with the left hand. Snaps it off beautifully. Fifteen seconds remain in the round.
punch over the top. Great number six. Let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he wants it. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exhibit towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice strike. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. that for execution. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Body kick is blocked. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Three minutes to go in the round. Is there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Two minutes to go in the round. Throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Liver kick, straight punch lands. Lands with the right hand. Single collar tie now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. What a body kick. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Nice punch lands over the top. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just out of range with that strike. Real sneaky body. His hands are down. Hike it, hike it. Big head 
kick. Got clip with the right hand. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Nice, punch there. Lance flush with that right here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 38 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Roosh, the Dragon! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.